Welcome. In this video, we will give you an overview of basic shipping in S4 HANA Transportation Management. It is based on core TM capabilities and represents the future proof replacement of LETR known from SAP ECC. Let us begin by looking at the benefits provided by basic shipping. It provides manual planning, shipment creation, execution and cost calculation for logistics transportation processes. Basic shipping represents the future proof and extendable transportation component in S4 HANA. It runs embedded and tightly integrated with existing core business processes. Before we run a practical demo, let's cover the basics of basic shipping. Basic shipping covers the same scope as LE, TRA, and SAP ECC, from a functional perspective. Businesses in need of more advanced functionalities can license the full scope of S4 HANA transportation management. Basic shipping utilizes the new TM-specific objects, freight unit and freight order. With S4 HANA 2020 feature pack stack 01, a third object was introduced, the consignment. We plan to cover consignment in a separate video. The start of any planning is the creation of freight units from a transportation requirement. It is created using freight unit builder rules and converts items on a delivery document into freight units. A freight unit represents a set of goods that are transported together through the entire transportation chain. It typically represents a box, pallet, or container, or a group thereof, or a certain amount of a bulk product. Everything belonging to the same freight unit must share the same delivery requirements such as ship to location and delivery window. Goods can be divided into freight units based on gross weight, net weight, gross volume, quantity, 20-foot equivalent unit. Incompatibilities are also split into separate freight units. A freight order is an order for which a carrier or the shipper plans transportation execution. The freight order contains, among other things, when and onto which vehicle freight units are to be loaded. A freight order is also the cost collector for freight costs, very similar to the shipping document in SAP ECC. A freight unit can be attached to one freight order or many. The latter, for instance, when being part of an intermodal transportation scenario. Enough said. Let us look at basic shipping through a practical example. First, we will create four different sales orders. We will then create four outbound delivery documents, one for each sales order. Each of the four deliveries will be converted into separate freight units, four in total. We will then manually assign all four freight units to one common freight order and send it to our preferred carrier. Let's get going. In rapid sequence, we create four sales orders. Four different customers. With four sales orders created, we quickly create the four subsequent delivery documents. With the formalities done, we can switch to transportation management. We open the freight unit work list app. We select the freight units for manual planning query and recognize the four newly created outbound deliveries, here represented as four individual freight units. We mark all four freight units. Select capacity document and then create one for multiple requirements document. We have now, manually, created one freight order. We click on one of the freight units. In the document flow tab, we can see the freight order number, 61000004748. We are now ready to perform the subcontracting part, assigning the freight order to our preferred carrier. We switch to the freight orders work list app. We select the query called for subcontracting. We can see the newly created freight order and one additional order. We open the one we just created. On the general tab of the freight order, we manually assign our preferred carrier in the carrier field. In the vehicle field, we enter the resource type, alternatively specify a uniquely identifiable vehicle. We then save the order. We select subcontracting in the top menu and press send to carrier to trigger communication to the carrier. In the status tab, we can see that the freight order has been sent, however not confirmed. We simulate this step by selecting set to confirmed by carrier manually.
As a final step, we change the execution status of the order to an execution. Warehouse activities can now commence. Instead of performing the warehouse activities, we will instead make a small jump forward in time and look at settlement. We will once again use the freight orders work list, this time selecting the for settlement query. The time has come for us to calculate the freight order charges. We select charges slash settlement in the top menu, then calculate charges. When we look at the charges tab, we can see that the total cost is made up of several cost elements, each having its own rate and unit of measures. If we click on show slash hide details we can see that the rate elements originate in a specific freight agreement, maintained in the system. We are now ready to create the freight settlement document. A freight settlement document is a document used for posting the freight cost accruals, which forms the basis of invoice verification and materials management for freight documents such as freight orders, freight bookings, and service orders. After posting the freight settlement document, we switch back to the document flow tab in the freight order. We can see that freight cost with distribution has been posted. We will use the service entry sheet and purchase order in a minute when registering the invoice from the carrier. We will finalize this demo by registering the invoice received from the carrier using the Create Supplier Invoice app. We key in the invoice date and the carrier invoice reference. We quickly apply the relevant tax code. In the lower part of the screen, on the TM Ref tab, we enter the corresponding freight order and press enter. We apply the appropriate tax code also on line level. We then go back to the header level, T in the invoice total. The line level and header level do now balance, and we can post the invoice. Back on the Freight Order Document Flow tab, we can see that the carrier invoice has been verified and settled towards our cost accruals. Mission accomplished. The functionality shown in this video is available in S4 HANA Transportation Management, Embedded, Cloud and On-Premise. It is also available in S4 HANA Transportation Management, Decentralized, requiring licensing of advanced TM. Let us recap some of the benefits provided by basic shipping. It provides manual planning, shipment creation, Execution and cost calculation for logistics transportation processes. Basic shipping represents the future-proof and extendable transportation component in S4 HANA. It runs embedded and tightly integrated with existing core business processes. The views, information or opinions expressed are solely those of the individuals involved and not those of the individual's employer, or any other group or individual. Thanks a lot for watching. Please comment, like and subscribe. More videos like this coming shortly. See you then.